Hi everyone, it's Anna and I am at the shop in Amsterdam where I give tarot readings. I'm here after hours and everyone's gone. I just had a reading uh, for a very lovely girl of uh, uh, 45 minutes and um, it was really good. It was really cool and uh, she was very open to it. Um, you know, I wish you all the best um, in your adventures. It's uh, it's all happening. <laughs> it's all happening. So now that I'm here alone, I thought, well, I might as well um, do a little video because I haven't seen many videos about this particular tarot deck that I have recently uh, received and have worked with quite a lot with um, clients in this shop. It's Pam's Tarot Original Art Only. Roses and Lily Back Design, limited edition. This is the first print, illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith, restored by Real, and self-published with My Lucky Card. So, I think this was an Etsy shop, I'm not sure. This is the box, and it's the same person who does the Pam's Vintage Tarot. Um, you know, now she also does it tarot sized, like these cards are tarot sized. And why did I did I buy this deck? Because let's face it, it's just a right away Smith. It just costs double. <laughs> why did I buy this one? So I bought this one. Well, you can see right off the bat. Uh, I wasn't too fond of that overly vintage border kind of thing effect that uh, she had put I, I think it's a woman I'm not sure sorry uh, that she had put um, on her Pam's vintage tarot uh, that just looked a little too computerized for me and even though you know some of these cards you can see the edits you know they are not perfect uh, I really enjoy reading with them a lot because there's no language on them. There are no titles, no anything. Not on the chord cards, not on the aces, not on the uh, majors. Uh, and also no numbers, which I love because the number is always kind of a pet peeve for me. Uh, with the Rider Waite Smith, I mean, I know these images so well. I don't need an extra number for me to, you know, to tell me how many cups there are in this picture. Actually, that bothers me also with Marseille style decks because I can count how many cups there are and how many pentacles there are, how many swords there are. That's part of the magic, I think, and having that Roman numeral there uh, isn't a distraction, but it's kind of like, meh, yeah, well, I can, you know, it's, it's, it's a little less magical for me. This is a little more magical and it's cool that it's just the picture see like i know that this is the king of pentacles i don't need the title and i think that's you know only possible with the right away smith honestly because i know these images so well most of us do and so it's pretty cool i have to say i love borders usually really I don't trim my decks to get rid of borders. Um, there is another reason for that. Um, but these cards, uh, you know, I I like it. I like that it's just the image. Yeah, and the all of the cards are a little bit zoomed in, I think. I have kept in the purple hermit just because it's such a spiritual color. Um, there was an that was an extra card. You could choose between a blue hermit and a purple hermit, and I put in my purple hermit. So far, nobody has gotten that one. So, no, no, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so normally a deck like this would be too blue, too yellow, but actually, it's really good. It's really good. It's it's re yeah. The cardstock is a little more plasticky than I would like. But that also kind of means that my clients can touch the cards and pick out the cards and whatever, like pick them up with their nails like that. 
if they wish and I won't get mad or cringy at the table because, um, you know, I just cannot bring myself to do readings with my Centennial, for instance. Uh, that deck is for me so far. I have other Rider Waite Smiths because I do enjoy reading with Rider Waite Smith. That is the system that I started with, that I know the best. And although I use a lot of numerology in my readings, like the Marseille, um, it does help that extra visual thing, you know? Um, I have yet to do a Marseille reading for a client. This, you know, it's just extra magical for me to know that this is the Empress and it's the number three and it's a major arcana and uh, all the other symbolism and all the other meaning that come with it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really good. So the other day I had a pretty magical, um, pretty magical thing happening with these cards. I do read reversals, and I had one card reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, and above that I had the Nine of Cups upright. Sorry, I have a cold. Um, where is the Ten of Swords? Yeah, that's what happens when you're a tarot nerd. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that always happens, right? You're beginning to you begin to think that it's not in the deck. <laughs> anyway, it was like this, and then with other uh, other cards uh, next to it, but you could just see that it made a circle. It made a freaking circle between the top of the swords and the top of the cups it made a circle and I mean that would not happen that easily with a Marseille style deck or pip deck this is just right away smith magic I mean I have a connection with these uh, images with these drawings with this artwork it's it's not original uh, it's not the first tarot deck but it's very good in my opinion and I can see past, you know, um, death having a name, although in this deck it doesn't have a name, does it? You can call it Arcana number 13 and you're good to go. Uh, but uh, that was really magical, it was like a mirror. And um, I'm not sure if that would have happened with my other Rider Waite Smith, if I would have noticed it as strongly as I did with these two cards. Um, because there are no borders, no numbers, in these cases no names anyway, but it was just such a cool moment. I was like blown away by that and I really wanted to keep going with that puzzle. So, I don't know if you've noticed when I, uh, sh sh when I showed you the moon card, but she fixed all the rays of the moon. Because usually there's number 18 right there. And uh, moon is 18, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, and uh, some of the rays are um, well aren't aren't drawn aren't drawn in because the Roman numeral is there, and same with the sun. I have to say, I love the Oshit line, and it very well may not be an Oshit line. It might be that Pamela Coleman Smith initially drew it like this, and then it was like oh shit, by the publisher, we need to put number 19 there. So erased everything except for a little line. That's possible. Anyway, it's a theory. But here, look at that. Who has ever seen the sun depicted in this way? I love it. All the rays are there. That's so cool. Very good job. Um, and uh, there are some little things where you can see that it's Photoshop, where you can obviously see that, uh, for instance, in the chariot... You can see that um, the ground is just mirrored, or in the hierophant, you can see that the clothes of the um, 
people next to the hierophant or underneath the hierophant, uh, it's obviously mirrored. Like, look, you can see the little line, little Photoshop line to make extra grass. But, you know, also having a deck like this without uh, Roman numerals or without any numbers um, drawn in, it kind of solves the issue of tarot being, um, oh, what's the word? Khodorovsky talks about that in his book, that the tarot is progressive. Uh, and I don't mean like, <laughs> whatever, I mean, I mean, uh, when you have um, uh, five, no, is that it? Wait, oh yeah, like for instance with the nine. Nine, give me a nine. Nine, 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 nine. nine. Uh, oh, look, look, sorry. Look, you can see. It's just mirrored. But it's okay. That's good. So, for instance, I can talk about it without showing. That's possible. Um, with a nine, we would do an um, x minus one, right? So it would be um, i x x but in tarot in the first tarot decks because tarot is considered numerology numerology <laughs> can't talk anymore um it's, it's considered a progressive thing it grows from run till 10 and then one again um it's uh it would be um five so v and then four little eyes so it would be five six seven eight nine instead of going ten minus one because there is no minus there is no step back it only goes forward so long story short that's what i'm trying to say like it's it also solves that problem to have these cards without any numbers and all that stuff. So I'm showing you the backs now, roses and lily backs, borderless. It's a very nice box, I have to say. I'm keeping them in the box. And these cards reside so far in the shop where I do readings in Amsterdam. If you want to know more about that, you should visit my Instagram or Facebook. I am Astro Lady Tarot on all of those platforms. And you can email me as well, astroladytarot at gmail.com. For any questions or if you want to do a booking with me because I do bookings in Dutch, I'm Dutch, and I also do bookings in English. I also speak French fluently, but I haven't done any professional readings in French yet, so I'm a little bit uh, hesitant about actually promoting that, saying that I do that, but um, I'm having a lot of fun the way things are going now and uh, attracting you know all sorts of different but all, uh, equally interesting nice people open-minded people um having a lot of fun yes and uh, this deck is really uh helping me give some pretty good and um readings that that you know don't leave so many questions basically that really rather answer questions so really happy about that so thank you real i'm sorry uh anyway this is pam's tarot original art only and i don't know what else to say that's it uh, thank you for watching the very few people who who did um, I guess I could mention that I don't only do face-to-face -face tarot readings, I also do readings via email, then I would pre-record a video and send it to you, uh, or via Skype. So, you know, wherever you are, if you're not in Amsterdam or not in Holland or not in Europe, then, you know, um, we can still uh, have contact and I could give you a reading. 
So yeah, don't be afraid to send me a message. Just ask me a question about how I work or or, or um, what uh, what type of readings I do and uh, all that good stuff. So thank you everyone. Have a good night.